Hi. Okay, so for the five minutes. All right, so let me jump straight right into it. So you can use LLM locally, actually. Uh, it's quite easy. You have uh, open source yes. applications that you can run. Say, actually, um, the guys thought of everything you need um, to connect models and to have nice interface to run things smoothly. Um, because we all know the problem of using a chat GPT and any online API model which is not uh, used um, by the data and also because you cannot have any uh, customization to it. All right, so I wanted to show you a tool uh, to yesterday, but this um, update just crashed. Uh, most of the one interesting thing, which is uh, to using a rag when you want to load a document, to give more context to your model, to be able to ask for more specific questions. Uh, the tool is NMStudio. I forgot the name, it just come back to me later. So instead, I'm going to show you NM Studio. This is a website, it's open source. So what they did, it's they provided an interface which is a little bit complex for someone beginning with a language model, but still you can use it to try some uh, would be convenient for your usage. This is a website, you can download it for many platforms. Um, in my case, I'm using a MacBook M1, uh, so also um, making the question about what computing power you need for it. Today, you have very light models you can use, so it must, it shouldn't be a problem even with 8 gigabytes of RAM. You will have the same speed as you have usually, but it's okay if you want to do a couple of works, not simple stuff, you can run it. So let's do this. On the first page, you will have something when you want to search for a model. I've been, uh, I've heard about like Fee model, it's a very light one from Microsoft. They open, uh, not, it's open, not open, wait, but so you can use it and download it for free. So I'm searching. It's coming. And there is one that I can actually download directly from them. What they do, it's nice, is they tell you about your configuration, if you can run it. If you cannot run it, it means it's going to be in the red over there because you're just going to burn everything. Otherwise, it's purple, you can run it, but it's going to be slow. I'm downloading it. You have also a chat interface, which is uh, you can specify a lot of parameters you want to use with your model, such as like being more strict on your content or have more creativity. It's just a basic list. I will load my model. It's also loaded. It's good. And then I ask question. Oh, this one isn't working. Good. I'm going to use another one. That should be good. I have one minute left? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I like. So you can try different models, you load them easily here, and you have your list. What's good, you also have a local server, so you can call the API from the model directly from your code, or also from the other application, uh, would have been also nice to you to, to, to show you and to demonstrate when you want to chat for your documents. And you have the list of model over there. Okay, so basically that's it. Uh, if you have any question, you can come and see me later from the installation and also like basic questions related to computation power and what you can do or cannot do with it. That's it, thank you.